Sometimes when we are coding, we want to execute code in the, in the case that something is true or something is false. To do this, we can use this if block. Blocks we place within this if block will then execute if something is true or it is false. And the condition can be selected with this drop down menu. So we're going to leave it on true. An example of a condition could be a button being pressed. So if button A has been pressed, we will then execute blocks that we place within here. So let's try that out in a very simple program. We're going to put this in a forever loop. So we're going to continually go around here and test to see if button A is pressed. And if it is, we'll execute blocks we place here. A simple example could be to display the string of text, hello. So on the simulator now, this code is running. So it keeps continually going through this forever loop and it's checking to see if button A is pressed. In this case, so far it hasn't been pressed, so there's nothing on the display. But if I press button A, I'll just do that now, we can see we're now displaying the hello text, which sits within the if block here. So it's testing for this condition and then executing this code if it is true.